peaceful demonstration about open enrollment because we feel um, that the student body hasn't really been heard about this issue. We've spoken at board meetings and we've sent numerous emails to our parents and we feel like people have listened but not really taken in what we've been saying. So I feel like it was more we should have done it from our turf at school just to show how strong we are in numbers and we'll definitely show that tonight at the board meeting also. this come about? Um, Jack, Jack Lutat, who also led this with me, um, he texted me Saturday afternoon about a walkout. What do you think about this? And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm totally on board. And I just went with it. I spread the word. I contacted a few news outlets to cover this, even if they you know, didn't want to. I thought it would be good to get some sort of media coverage about it. And things just fell into place. People told other people. And here I am standing outside of school with, you know, 200 other people who completely sort of, uh, I'm sorry, support this cause. sure the large majority of the school loves it I mean a lot of the parents the anti-open enrollment parents say we're a disruption and you know we're costing them tax money and other kinds of things and the students like no we don't necessarily think it from an entirely financial standpoint but we're a part of this building we aid the test scores and also um, sorry I'm losing my track of thought um, we, we just aid the school. Right. And we're a part of it. We're a part of the sports team. We're a part of the academic numbers. And to take away, you know, portions of that just because we live outside of the district, um, it just doesn't make sense. It's, it seems incredibly petty amongst the students. It seems like parents just want to be upset about something. That, that's the overall feel that we're getting from the students. It's like, why would you take away perfectly great students from a great school district like this? All of you, all of you in this crowd, everybody that we can, in our building, at West Yonga, and within the West Yonga school, is what makes us great. I am proud of all of you as students. We have a phenomenal school. Now what has to happen is you have to take this to individuals tonight at a meeting. We have a board meeting tonight, as all of you know. It is important that we continue to show your voices. You do what you think you need to do in order for you to have a peace of mind in, in, in having a decision made on your behalf. So keep that in mind. Again, we have a board meeting tonight at 7 o'clock. I would encourage all of you to attend. And again, let your voices be known. Just so you know, we have not, or there has not been, the board has not voted on this issue for the upcoming school years. Again, another reason for you to be there, to let them know what you think. I encourage all of you at this point in time to head back into the school to, to continue the school day. And I know that many of you out here have already might have had the opportunity to talk to Media Express 
what your thoughts are, and you should do that. But I'd like all of you to go back, show the school, show the board members that you care about education, and head back into school in the classrooms. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.